Hi everyone and welcome to our virtual meeting today. I'm so excited you're here with me today. Today we'll be doing Girl Scout Way Badge. Uh, my name is Cindy Lita and I'm the Girl Experience Coordinator for Girl Scouts of Southwest Texas. So today all you will need is paper and pencil if you want to take any notes down. So let me uh, pause real quick so you can get that for you. All right, are we ready to start? I am. So as you know, before we ever start a Girl Scout meeting, we always start with our Girl Scout promise. So I have it on here, written here in English and in Spanish, in case you might want to do it in Spanish. So let's do our Girl Scout sign. Ready? On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. Perfect. All right. So let's get started. So let me take off this the uh, promise I'm up here because we won't need this right now. All right, so before we get started, I wanted to read a story about our founder. We all know who our founder is, Juliet Lowe. It's so exciting that she started Girl Scouts, but let's find out how she got this started. So let me read you, uh, read you some facts about her that I want to share. Juliet was born on October 31st, 1860 in Savannah, Georgia. October 31st, that's Halloween. How amazing to have your birthday on Halloween. Her uncle looked at her and said, she looks like a daisy. And that became her nickname. Juliet loved animals, drawing, coloring, outdoor activities, anything that uh, had to do with sports or animals she really loved. As a child, she experienced severe ear injuries, which resulted from almost totally hearing loss. And that, and that affected her for the rest of her life. Juliet married William Lowe and moved to England. While in England, she met Robert Batten Powell, the founder of Boy Scouts, where she got inspired to start the Girl Scout movement. When she moved back to Savannah, Georgia, on March the 12th, 1912, she made the famous call. She invited girls over to come to her house for the first Girl Scout meeting. That's very exciting. At her meeting, she had 18 girls attend. In order for her to keep on doing the Girl Scout movement, she needed to finance the Girl Scouts. So she needed money, so she decided to sell her pearl necklace that her husband gave her as a wedding gift to finance Girl Scouts. Today, we have over 2.5 million Girl Scouts. Isn't that exciting? We have 2.5 million Girl Scouts, and it still keeps on growing. That's a great organization that we have that many girls. Well, those were a few facts I wanted to share, but there's more facts that you can find online, on our Girl Scout website, you know, if you want to read more about her. There's some more interesting things, but those are just some I wanted to highlight. As a Girl Scout, you know, there's different levels of Girl Scouting. We have the Daisies, which are kinder and first grade. And the Daisies and kinders first grade, they wear this Daisy pin. And they wear their Daisy pin on the tab that goes on their uniform right here. If you're a brownie, which is second and third grade, you wear the brownie pin. It looks like a little brownie. Now, if you're a junior uh, cadet, senior ambassador, you get to pick from our traditional gold pin or the green pin that says Girl Scouts. I have a traditional pin that I have for me. So these are the different pin, the pins for Girl Scouting that you wear. Also on your tab, you also have another pin on here that goes on here. Does anybody know what this pin is called? It's our WAGS pin. And our WAGS pin, this is how it looks like. That means as a Girl Scout, you are also part of the organization World Association of Girl Guides and Girl Scouts, and for short, WAGS. So what does that mean? So that means that as a Girl Scout or a Girl Guide, you're automatically a member, and you can earn your pin with doing a few little things. First off, we're going to learn about the meaning of the pin. So, the pin here, as you see it, is blue and gold. Well, the blue on our pin, let me look at my notes real quick, represents the background of the sky that's all around the United States, in the world. So that's what the blue is. The gold that's around the outside and the gold that's in the symbols, that represents the sun that shines on children all over the world. Isn't that cool? Because we are an association with all over the world. So that's pretty cool. Second of all, these leaves that are here, they represent the three parts of our promise. You know when we say our promise, we say um, to serve God in my country, 
for this one leaf to help people at all times another leaf and to live by the Girl Scout law that's the next leaf okay it also has <clears throat> a flame right here the small flame that represents for loving all the people in the world we love everyone in the world and that's what that represents and then we have a compass the compass needle that compass needle there is to guide us that's our journey through our life so that's our guide it leads us in the right direction and then we have also these stars there's uh, two stars on here and one side of the star is the promise and the other one is the law it represents the, the law and our promise so to earn the pen, you need to read about what they stand for. And also there's a game that we're going to play. So on this game, I'm going to move this over real quick. <clears throat> it's a world thinking day. And a lot of times when you earn that pen, it's usually around a thinking day. Because that's when uh, we think about all the Girl Guides and Girl Scouts all over the world. So I'm going to read you a story. When you hear me say Juliet, I want you to wave and say Daisy. So wave and practice. Daisy! When I say Girl Guides or Guiding, Girl Scouts, Scouting, you're going to do the Girl Scout sign that we do when we say our promise and say Be Prepared. So practice. Be prepared. Then when you hear me say the word World, this one's a fun one, you're going to spin around one time and say We. So you're going to go We! Just like that, okay? So make sure you have a little bit of area. I don't want no one to fall or anything. So just remember, Juliet, what are you gonna do? Perfect. Girl Scouts, Girl Guides, Guiding, Scouting, what are you gonna do? Perfect. And when you say world, okay, I think we all got it. Okay, so let me read this story and remember to do the actions. So here we go. A long time ago, there was a lady from Savannah, Georgia whose name was Juliet Gordon Lowe. Her family and friends called her Daisy. Daisy was an artist, but she also loved riding horses, putting on plays, and helping others. When Juliet grew up and got married, she moved to England, where she learned about girl guiding from her English friend, Lord Baden Powell, who had also started Boy Scouts. Juliet Lowe became a girl guide leader in Scotland and in London. She had so much fun. She wanted to tell the girls in Savannah and all of America, of all the world, about girl guiding. Juliet started her first girl guide troop in America on March 12, 1912 with 18 girls. But soon there were thousands of members. American girls decided they wanted to be called Girl Scouts, and Juliet agreed. But even with a different name, Girl Scouts are still part of the same world family. Juliet Lowe became Girl Scouting, and guiding was, the, such, was such a fine thing that she wanted all troops all over the world. She knew that Girl that girl, girl Scouts and Girl Guiding would help girls from different countries become friends and that would help build the world peace and understanding. So aren't you glad that Juliet from Savannah, Georgia, who was the artist and loved the outdoors, went to England and met Lord, pa Lord Baden Powell, learned about Girl Guides and came home to start Girl Scouts in Savannah, Georgia in 1912. Whew. I'm pretty sure you did a lot of action there. Are y'all tired? I got tired just reading it because I was like, oh my God, I was looking at y'all like, wow. So, here's a great activity, girls, you can do. Mom, dad, leaders, there's, you can look online and there's this action story here that you can uh, look up for your girls. It also has an activity sheet that they can actually draw the uh, pen. They can draw the pen and color it. And that way, once they've done that, they completed the World Association pin. And then that way you can pin it on them or you can do a, a uh, ceremony that can do your investiture or rededication. Or you can make your own ceremony and get the pin with World Thinking Day. 
for this World Thinking Day. That's the day that we celebrate Girl Guides and Girl Scouts all over the world. And as a member of WAGS, we have five centers all around the, uh, the world that you can visit and learn more about the Girl Guides in those countries. The first one is in Mexico. And we call it the Cabana. The Cabana is located in Cernavaca, Mexico. Great place to go visit if you're ever in Mexico. Another one is in Switzerland, called the Chalet. And that's located outside Albert Borden and Bernice Aberland. So if you're in Switzerland, you might want to try to see if you can visit the Chalet. If you go to England, we have the Pax Lodge, which is located in Hampstead, London. Ooh, London. India is the other place called Sangam. And it's located on the banks of the Mula River Poon. I bet you that's pretty pretty because it's on the banks of the river. And then our last one, which is very interesting, is in Africa. It doesn't have no place that it's located. It says that they're located all over Africa. They move the center different regions of Africa, so everyone has the chance to visit it. That's why it's called the Kusafiri, meaning journey. That's pretty exciting to have our world center that moves around the whole country of Africa. Pretty good neat, huh? Okay, so remember, this is our World Centers. We have five. We belong to WAGS as a Girl Scout, and we have a pin that we wear to show that we're associated with WAGS. And now you know how to earn it. Okay. We also have some Girl Scout traditions that we're going to go over. I bet you a lot of y'all all of y'all know these traditions. Founders Day. Y'all know about Founders Day. That's when we celebrate whose birthday? Julia Lowe on October 31st. And if you with your troop or friends, you can do a little party and celebrate her birthday. World Thinking Day, which is February the 22nd. That's to celebrate all the Girl Guides and Girl Scouts all over the world. You can do any kind of celebration with that. You can look up uh, a country and find out what Girl Guides do there. What kind of their uniform, maybe some of their traditions, maybe some of their meals they eat. That's a great way to learn out to learn about Girl Guides. <clears throat> we have the Girl Scout birthday, which is March the 12th. That wasn't too long ago. Did anybody celebrate her birthday? I hope we did. I did. And that's when we recognize the first Girl Scout meeting held in Savannah, Georgia. <clears throat> also, we have a motto. Did you know our motto is to be prepared? We're always prepared for anything that comes our way. We also have a slogan, do a good turn daily. And that just means it's a reminder of the many ways girls can contribute positively to the lives of others. That means you can be helping girl people in your community. Maybe you have a canned food drive, maybe a dog food drive. You go clean the area, you go to your local park, you pick up litter. We leave the community nice and better than we found it. And we also have a Girl Scout handshake. Did anybody know that? It's your Girl Scout promise, and on the other hand, you shake the other Girl Scout. Right now, we're not doing that, so you can maybe just pretend because we want to make sure that everyone is washing their hands and keeping safe and healthy right now. Here we go. Good job. All right, girl. So, also as a Girl Scout, there's many memories that we make as girls. Do you know any adults that were Girl Scouts? You can ask them what was their favorite memory. Uh, how many years were they in Girl Scout? I was a Girl Scout from Brownies to Cadets. I loved it. And then a lot of my friends, we were all Girl Scouts. And we, you know, we think about it and we're like, what were our family memories? And a lot of us are camps, going to camp. You know, having our meetings. We look forward to our meetings every day after school. Because we were getting together even though we were not in the same classroom. We couldn't wait to be together. Um, earning badges. We love showing the badges that we earn. Uh, we loved also cookie sales. We loved just being together and learning new things. So ask someone in your family, were they a Girl Scout? And ask them what their favorite uh, memory is, okay? One of the things is being a Girl Scout is singing songs. I like to sing songs. Even though I'm not a singer, I don't, my voice is not, I can't carry a tune. But you know what? I still sing the song because it's fun to sing songs with the girls. So today we're going to learn a song, make you friends. A lot of y'all might know it. But we're also adding another verse. We're going to add another verse to it so that way you can know it. Um, I'm going to read the words and then we'll try it together. So make you friends, make you friends, but keep the old. One is silver, the other is gold. 
A circle is round. It has no end. That's how long I want to be your friend. The next one that a lot of people don't know is a fire burns bright and warms the heart. We've been friends from the very start. So we're going to sing it together. We're going to sing all the here and then when we get here we'll add this part again. Okay? You ready to join me? Okay. Remember, I'm not a singer. I do my best to try to hold a tune. So let's just try it. Ready? One, two, three. Make you friends, but keep the old oneness over and the other go. A circle is round, it has no end. That's how long I want to be your friend. A fire burns bright and warms the heart. We've been friends from the very start. Make new friends, but keep the old oneness silver and the other's gold. How do you like that? Good job. So see? That's another song that we sing at Girl Scout uh, events, at your meetings. You might have it for a special ceremony. Um, my girls, we always like to sing it. And uh, sometimes you do it with your friendship circle you do at your meetings or just any time. Um, there's another song. Let me take this off. It's also a traditional song. Taps. How many of y'all know taps? Okay. Now maybe not everybody uh, taps is usually saying at any of your meeting and of like camp at camp if you go to camp a lot of times when we bring the flag down at the end of the day we sing taps um, that we do that at camp metro we sing it at the end of the day you can sing it at the end of your ceremony any time to you know show that this is the end of whatever activity you're doing so let me go over the words day is done gone the sun from the lake from the hills from the sky all is well, safety rest, God is night. Now this is just one verse. There's another verse also, but this is usually the one everybody knows. So this is the one we're going to go over. Okay, so let's try singing it and let's go. Day is done, gone the sun, from the lake, from the hills, from the sky. All is well, safely rest, God is night. See? Very good. Um, let's try it one more time, okay? And remember, you can do that at the end of the day, at the end of your ceremony. Day is done, gone the sun, from the lake, from the hills, from the sky. All is well, safely rest, God is nigh. Good job. Now, do you know another uh, Girl Scout song? Well, if you want to look for more, you can look on the website. Um, we had a lot of girls that maybe did their silver award that they put videos on YouTube on Girl Scout songs. They put booklets together. So that's a great way to look and see. I know there's some other ones, um, but I was, I was picking some traditional ones. But go look at some fun action ones. Some, you know, there's some chants. There's a lot of things you can look at. So check out the websites, you know, see what some of the girls have done for us. Well, that's all I have for today. So we ended the, our meeting with TAPS. Good job. And remember to, you know, make sure you're washing your hands, stay safe, you know, uh, exercise, drink water, stay active, and do your school homework. And we'll see you soon. All right. Bye.